On this episode of The Sight Picture, we check on who's kicking butt and taking names at the Army Reserve Best Warrior Competition. The 80th Regional Readiness Command printed its final Blue Devil 2 magazine. The magazine goes out with a real page-turning issue with very pretty pictures, period. End of story. If pain is just weakness leaving the body, strap yourself in and welcome to the House of Pain. You're in the sight picture right here, right now. Lock and load the next magazine, get you a good sight picture. Superman made his first appearance in Action Comics number one. And for Batman, it was Detective Comics 27. Now, right here, right now, the sight picture is making its first appearance at the Minnesota Comic Book Association's 2007 Fall Con. Now, the Fall Con is considered to be the biggest comic book convention in Minnesota. I couldn't think of a better place to do a little situation awareness of the sight picture, but here with the comic book public. My secret identity is Sergeant First Class Chris Farley, but my superhero name is the Anchor Man. I'm Furry J. Ackermonster, and you are watching the sight picture. Only the best of the best can be in the X-Men, Justice League of America, and the Avengers. The same can be said for those Army Reserve Warriors that continue to climb the Best Warrior ladder all the way to the USARC Best Warrior competition. All candidates are highly motivated and Army strong, but there can be only one Best Warrior Soldier and Best Warrior NCO. So seatbelt yourself in for this next story and prepare to be adrenalized. These soldiers understand what it takes to get a perfect sight picture when zeroing their weapons. No pun intended. So it looks like you got a tight shot group. Just got That's right. A That's high. how I do things. This is Camp Robinson, Arkansas, home of the 90th Regional Readiness Command, and on this particular day, Army Reserve soldiers are pushing their bodies and minds to their limits and beyond in this yearly competition. But why be comfortable and complain? You won't hear anyone here complain because each soldier is here by choice. Each soldier here is a candidate for the Army Reserve's 2007 Best Warrior Competition. When you think you've trained hard enough, bring it to another level. You, you can't train hard enough. That one went down. 47 soldiers started this week-long trial of Army Warrior events, tasks, and drills. By the end of the week, these 47 Army Reserve soldiers will be whittled down to two for the Army Reserve's Best Soldier and Best Non-Commissioned Officer titles. The run's my strong point, so I think a soldier has to shine at what they're strong at and try their damnedest at what they're weak at. Many stages of this contest were the same for candidates because past warrior contests mirrored this soldier challenge. The best warrior competition started with the Army physical fitness test, followed by a select number of warrior tasks and drills. But aside from the usual, this warrior competition had a high octane event clouded in a shroud of secrecy for the candidates and even the 90th RRC that was facilitating this competition. Imagine a relay race on steroids. Instead of carrying a baton, you have to drag a 150-pound dummy back and forth. Ripped from the warrior ethos, I will never leave a fallen comrade, influenced this task. The project manager and architect of this event was Army Reserve Command Sergeant Major of Training, Leonard Padilla. So recovering a casualty is something that soldiers uh, find themselves uh, doing in combat and it's something that every soldier regardless of MOS may have to do and uh, you know I think it was, it was a good task. It didn't come up to a final though that it didn't make my mind up finally on it until maybe two weeks ago. The candidates had this to say about the mystery task. The mystery test, it, it, was, an out, it was outstanding. It was just outstanding. I mean, you're under enemy fire, you have to go retrieve a casualty, and you have a buddy assisting you, providing you cover. It was just the, the most exciting thing in the whole competition to me. After that event, I was charged up. I almost passed out. I was charged up. I wanted to do it again or do something else. 
So that's what I, I that's what I was looking forward to. That was like the highlight of the tournament. For the first time, the two soldiers that distinguished themselves among the rest will continue on to the Department of the Army level of competition. How you feel? And the Army Reserve winners that get an all-inclusive one-week stay at Fort Lee for the Department of the Army Best Warrior Competition are Sergeant Edward J. Chisholm and Specialist Brian J. Hancock. Reporting for the site picture from Camp Robinson, Arkansas, I'm Sergeant First Class Chris Farley. How do you do things? <laughs> Tight. The United States Army Reserve enters into its 100th year and celebrates its proud history of service with a centennial anniversary, April 23, 2008. Good things must come to an end, including the side picture, but rest assured, like James Bond, the side picture will return. Now something that won't be coming back, unfortunately, and the final issue is either going to print or hitting your mailbox, is the Blue Devil 2 magazine. The Blue Devil 2 magazine was the exclusive magazine to the 88th Regional Readiness Command, and in true comic book fashion, the magazine's last issue is going out with a bang. The Blue Devil 2 magazine wasn't a typical magazine that you'd find on a newsstand or in a bookstore. The 88th Regional Readiness Command produced the magazine exclusively for its warrior citizens, Army Reserve readers, and supporters. The magazine was an important informational mouthpiece for its commanding general and was eyewitness to the warrior citizen story in its region. The Blue Devil 2 was an important vehicle that told the warrior citizen's story with their words and actions. But with the army going through a dramatic transformation, the magazine became a casualty of this new army evolution. Captain William Geddes was the final editor of the Blue Devil 2 magazine. I am sad to see the magazine go. Uh, I think a, a lot of people will be the, something that you spend a lot of time working on, a lot of time uh, and energy put into it and it's uh, I'm sad to see it go I'm sad to see the 88th RRC stand down um, but you know like we discussed before there's gonna be a lot of other new commands standing up the RSC or what is now gonna be the RSC last I heard is standing up um, and I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of really good magazines standing up too. The magazine was entrenched in continuing its publication during the high operation tempo that continued up to its final issue. We worked really hard once the nation went to war to try and keep the Blue Devil 2 relevant and to try and, 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 and keep publishing as best we could. In the magazine's long run, it garnered many awards and was read by some famous prominent people. Reporting for the side picture, I'm Sergeant First Class Chris Farley. Oh, hey, a Blue Devil 2 back issue. How rare. How much is it? That crap isn't supposed to be in there. While the Blue Devil 2 magazine is packing up and folding its tent, the October issue of Soldier is rolling out its new look. Put down your issue of Soldier of Fortune and grab the latest copy of Soldier's magazine. The Army's flagship magazine recently had a literary magazine facelift the changes were made to the magazine to attract a new and younger audience of readers. The new magazine deployed to Army Garrisons in October 2007 with a video gamer's fantasy cover featuring the Xbox game America's Army. The new format will feature more dynamic and in-your-face photography along with a greater use of sunny visual graphics. Soldiers Magazine can be found on the official homepage of the United States Army. Reporting for the side picture, I'm Sergeant First Class Chris Farley. Thank you for watching the only video magazine dedicated to telling the Army Reserve and Blue Devil story. I'm Sergeant First Class Chris Farley saying, keep us in your side picture, and we'll see you next time. Ready when you are, Batman. Roger, ready to move out.